Okay, another moment of crisis for Marjorie Kemp, or actually it's a moment of several crises, is when she's accused of being a heretic, or the word used is a lollard, which is a kind of um, proto-Protestant sect. And this accusation pops up again and again and again in the book. And it gives Marjorie Kemp some of her most saint-like incidents, where she's the kind of lone voice being pursued by the crowd. And I'll just read you one moment where she's being accused. She went out of the monastery, with them following her and shrieking after her. You shall be burned, you false lollard. Here's a cart full of thorns ready for you and a barrel to burn you with. Then the creature stood outside the gates of Canterbury, for it was in the evening, with many people gawking at her. Then the people said, take her and burn her. And the creature stood still, trembling and quaking most dreadfully in her flesh, without any worldly comforts, and did not know what had become of her husband. Then she prayed in her heart to our Lord, thinking in this way, I came here, Lord, for your love. Blessed Lord, help me and have mercy on me. And then, after she had made her prayers in her heart to our Lord, two handsome young men came and said to her, Young lady, are you neither a heretic nor a lollard? And she said, No, sirs, I'm neither heretic nor lollard. And basically, these two men look after her. But again, this is a very uh, striking portrait of her doubt, of her loneliness, of her isolation, and of Kemp needing to pray at this moment when she's being pursued by a crowd in Canterbury. And one of the things the book gives us is these close-ups of her vulnerability and of her being um, bullied, pursued, regulated by the people around her. But they always turn out well for Marjorie. And that, again, allows her to prove her saintliness, God's providence, God's care for her.